Hey everyone, this is Ross and this is a request vid for Rigo Fish 100 and he wanted to know how I made my Trafal Moss carpet down here and there's also a little carpet there too so um, it's pretty simple, I mean most people will be able to work it out, you'll probably work out how I've done it but um, he just wanted to he just wanted me to do like a little tutorial so uh, there's three methods of doing it and I'll show you method one Right, so the first and probably most easiest way in my opinion to make a moss carpet is to just tie the moss to small pebbles and line the pebbles across the tank and then the moss will spread out over them and it'll make a nice thick carpet. Um, so you'll need a little pebble. Uh, you'll need it to be quite angular and it's got to be larger than aquarium gravel, just something that you'll get in the garden centre. So something like that. It's easier to tie a thread around. Obviously you're going to need your moss, you can use java moss, xmas moss, um, flame moss, peacock moss. Um, it works very well with peacock moss, um, but I've just got a big java moss here. Um, you're going to need your scissors, and you're going to need something to tie it on with. I like to use thread because this biodegrades over time, whereas fishing line always remains. Um, you can use fishing line if you like, but I just like to use this. Um, because after a while, the moss will actually root into the rock and it'll bind itself on the rock so it's pretty self-explanatory all you do is spread the moss out on the rock in a way that you like <clears throat> and then just wrap the thread around the rock keep on wrapping it round and once it's on securely tie a knot and that's your pebble with moss on and then you can do lots and lots of these uh, place them at intervals roughly about half an inch to an inch um, in your tank and then over time the moss will spread over them and it will create a nice thick carpet so that's the first method so all you gotta do is tie the moss to uh, small pebbles I like this method the best because pebbles are free, I got these at my garden and um, yeah so I just like to do that and it's very easy to kind of change around the carpet if you want the carpet on the right hand side of your tank just put all the pebbles on the right hand side and if you get bored of it after a month or two and all you've got to do is rearrange the pebbles so you're not restricted to having the carpet in one place so I think this is the most effective way right so now I'll show you method 2 right so this is the second method and all it involves is um, a piece of slate or flat rock and you want to be quite large well it depends on you tank size but um, this is generally more suited to larger aquariums because if you try and um, make a moss carpet in larger aquariums with these it's going to take you quite a while to tie all the moss onto these so if you've got a huge aquarium like Dustin's uh, 220 gallon then you can just get huge slabs of slate and then um, pretend that I've got a lot of moss here yeah? all you got to do is rip the moss up uh, place it on the rock in areas that you like um, at equal distances apart and then all you gotta do is tie it on with some thread, fish line, you name it and then just tie it on and then um, over time it should fuse together and make a carpet and um, so yeah that's great for, long, for larger aquariums and it's basically just the pebble method scaled up so you can do this with huge rocks so you can do with ones the size of a pebble it's uh, it's just great if you've got a large aquarium um, I have this type in my 15 gallon and what I've done I've got a flat rock and I've kind of used it as a kind of tunnel to allow the fish to go in and hide and the shrimp live in it so uh, yeah you can make features with this um, it's a great way but I prefer this method um, for smaller aquariums if you've got a large fish tank then this is a method for you um, there is a third method um, which I won't really go into much because I don't have any mesh and the third method involves um, getting a large sheet of plastic mesh or wire mesh or fabric mesh and all you do is you open it up, uh, place the moss inside how you like it, close the mesh up, 
sew it together and weigh it down on the bottom of your tank. Um, you can also stick it to the back of your tank with suckers. So um, over time the moss will carpet that and you can actually get quite a few nice effects with that one. Um, but you do have to buy the mesh and stuff. So this way and the pebble way are a lot cheaper. But if you want to go out and buy the mesh then you can. Um, they sell on eBay, I think it's called Rika Mesh or Moss Moss Mesh, something like that. You'll find it, just type in Java Moss or Rika Flutians on eBay and all these different listings should come up. Alright, so that was just the basics of making the moss carpet. And I hope this vid helped you. It was just very basic, but if it helped you then please give it a like, uh, comment on it and subscribe. Um, I look forward to your comments. Alright, bye.